hello guys in this video we will see how to download install and configure aws cli on windows operating system open any browser and search for aws cli download click on the first link that is installing or updating latest version of aws cli See, the AWS CLI is an open source tool that enables you to interact with AWS services using commands in our command line shell with minimal configuration. It also enables us to start running commands implement functionality equivalent to that provided by browser-based AWS management console. Then click on getting started. Then install or update then windows so we have to download this msi file click on this first link that is aws cli dot amazon aws dot com slash aws cli version 2 dot msi see once we click on download has been started See, download is completed. Once download is completed, click on this MSI file. Click on next. Check the checkbox to accept the terms in license agreement. See, these are the terms in license agreement. Then click on next. Choose the path by clicking on browse. I am going with default location. Then click on next. Click on install. Say yes. See, installation has been completed successfully. Click on finish. Now we can confirm the installation by opening command prompt. Start CMD, open it, then run AWS hyphen hyphen version to check the AWS version. See, we have installed AWS CLI and its version is 2.7.27 and python 3.9 after installation we have to configure the aws with your aws account go to your aws management console then click on services then search for iam iam is nothing but identity access management then click on users click on add users then provide the name here I am giving after schools. Check both the options. Provide the custom password. Require password reset. No, I don't want to reset password after first login. Then click on permissions. If you want to create create group or if you want to add existing policies, click on attach existing policy. I am giving administrator access. Then click on next. Here we have to provide tags. It's optional but not mandatory. I am giving auto admin. Then click on next. See, this is the summary. Username is this one. Access type pa console password. Required password is it? No. Okay. And we have provided this permission. Then click on create user. Here important point is this access key and secret access key. Both are useful to configure AWS CLI. Open command prompt. Type AWS configure. It is asking AWS access key ID. This is the access key ID. Copy it. Paste. Then we have to provide 
AWS Secret Access Key. This is the AWS Secret Access Key. Copy it. Paste here and enter. Now it is asking default region name. By default it has selected US East 1. You can get this access key by clicking on this download. It also contains same information. See access key ID, secret access key ID. This is a console link to connect with AWS management console by using IAM user. If you want to provide region name, then go to here. You can copy any of them. Like if you want to AF South 1, then copy it and enter here. So then it will change from US East 1 to AF South 1. I'm going with the default one. Otherwise, you can use same one also. US East 1. Default output format, I'm not going to specify. You can specify JSNR other formats. Press enter. We have successfully configured AWS account. Let's verify list of EC2 instances. AWS EC2 instances list hyphen instances. Command is not list instances. These are all available arguments for the EC2. So we have to give describe instances. Let me check. See, we have to give this one, AWS EC2, enter. See, I have one instance with the name RHL8, press enter, press spacebar from your keyboard. See, this is the another instance with the ID this one and its key name is win2019. And its platform is Windows. We can verify the same from the management console. Services, then search for EC2. See, I have only two instances. See, this is the instance ID and for RHL, this is the instance ID for Windows. This is the key name. See here. Key, this is the key name. This is the instance ID. Okay. If you want to get list of IAM users, just give. First go to IAM users. I have two IAM users. One is admin and R2 schools. Let's verify. AWS. IAM list users. See, one is admin user, another one is auto schools. See, we have the same. This is the created date of this. In the same way, if you want to get list of the S3 buckets, then S3 API, then list buckets. It is giving empty bucket names because I don't have any S3 buckets. Click on S3. See, I don't have any buckets. Let's create. It should be unique across the AWS cloud. I'm giving all defaults. Then click on create bucket. See, we have successfully created a bucket. Now run the same command whether we will get this bucket information or not. AWS S3 API list buckets. See, this time it has given the bucket name and this is the creation date. So, in this video, we have seen how to download, install, and configure AWS CLI on Windows. Then we have seen how to get the list of the EC2 instances, IAM users and list of the available buckets on my AWS account. For more AWS and cloud videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.